So hey everyone, um, so today is a tutorial. Um, I haven't done one of these in a very, very long time. Um, but I decided to do something really cute. I think flirty. Um, you can definitely take this into day and night. I'm getting ready to go shopping, so definitely taking this in today. But I wanted to kind of use one of my new quads that I got actually from the CCO store. It is a MAC quad. And this one is called the Polar Smoked. And it's four eyeshadows, and I just think this is like the perfect quad. Um, the color on that I used, I actually used three colors in this palette. I use these three here. I did not use. You guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys to the next one. As always, I start with Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the eye, just to prime the eye. This is going to help your eyeshadow to stick. Also just to prevent creasing and then also to help if you have any oil. First eyeshadow I'm using this is MAC Saddle eyeshadow and I'm just kind of buffing this all over the eye. This is going to kind of help with blending. It's more of a transition color so you're just going to put it everywhere above the crease, into the crease, a little bit into the highlight areas. Everything will blend seamlessly. Using Cross Culture eyeshadow from that quad, I'm going to be placing that in with an E25 brush pull into the crease just to create a more defined crease. I'm also flipping the brush over just to aid in any blending and to make sure that that is just seamless all the way through. Following up with the 40 brush from Sigma, I'm just taking that brush with, every, with the actual saddle eyeshadow all over and just blending that out. Going back to that quad, I'm picking up Light Fall with an E60 brush and applying this right onto the lid. You want to keep most of the color kind of concentrated on the inner two thirds of the eye, mainly in the middle as well as in the inner part, not bringing it to that outer part where we're going to be blending. So you just want to focus that color right on that inner two thirds. And I'm taking a E15 brush and also picking up that same cross culture that we put in the crease and applying that right under the lower lashes. I'm just kind of smudging it right in there, making sure that it is tight to the lashes. Also using an E30 brush and picking up that dark purple, which is called Polar Smoke, and using that pencil brush and just applying it right into the outer V. This is a technique that I like to use just to kind of place the color and then I will follow through with blending with another brush. So this is easy if you're not good with blending. This is one of the techniques I use. And then I'm going back in with an E25 brush and just blending that out to make sure that it is seamless and there's no harsh lines and that it looks really nice. Going back in with that E30 brush, I'm going to be taking that same color that I applied to the outer V and I'm going to be smoking that out underneath the eye, just smudging it right under the lashes, making sure it's very tight. Also using an E46 brush, I'm picking up Tempting Eyeshadow from MAC and we're just applying that right in the tear duct area, just making sure that you're not getting this in your eye because it is a little bit of a chunkier eyeshadow, but just make sure you're getting right in that tear duct area. Then I'm taking my favorite liner from MAC, this is Feline's um, liner, um, and I'm just applying this to my waterline, making sure that I'm not poking myself in the eye. I tend to do that when I record tutorials, but I'm also am going to be tight lining as well, making sure that I'm smudging it right in between the lashes, even though I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty, so I have to pull my lid like normal, but you guys get the point. So you just want to make sure that you're tight, or the lines are actually lined. And then I'm taking Max Fix Plus, I sprayed my E60 brush, picked up that light fall color again, and now I'm focusing most of the color on that two thirds, that inner two thirds. So this is just going to give us a little bit more of a color payoff, which is definitely what you want. And I'm taking Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, my favorite liquid eyeliner, and I'm going to just be creating a wing. I'm just lining my eyes right now, keeping the line fairly thin, not too, too heavy. You can go more dramatic. I would definitely say if you're doing this look more for nighttime, you can make that line a little more dramatic. But I'm just kind of keeping it nice and tight to the lashes, just for a nice little winged out look. And then I'm taking probably one of my favorite lashes. These are the 122 from Ardell Lashes. Sorry I'm totally out of frame here, but also my camera was having some issues focusing, but um, I like really nice 
flirty long lashes you can use whatever type of lashes you like these are pretty much my new favorites now and I'm just applying that I use duos dark tone lash glue you don't have to use the dark tone it's just what I like to use and next I'm gonna be applying some mascara this is my telescopic shocking mascara from L'Oreal I love this mascara wand because it just gets those tiny little itty bitty baby lashes I have on the bottom and I'm just applying that on my lashes top and bottom on the top making sure that my natural lashes blend with the false lash starting with my face I'm gonna be using Revlon color stay whipped foundation I'm applying that with my beauty blender Beauty Blender is great. And the concealer I'm using today is the L'Oreal True Matte Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. Um, this concealer is about a shade or so lighter than my skin tone, so it's going to give me a natural highlight without looking too, too highlight, which is what I want. And I'm also going to be blending this out with the Beauty Blender. This concealer does set really, really quickly, so I would suggest you to do one eye and then follow up with the other eye. Same thing as I'm doing for the other eye, applying it and then blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Blender. So I have a pimple. <laughs> so I'm just using a little bit of concealer to cover that up. I think I used the MAC Studio Fix. I can't remember. Um, that was the NYX HD Studio Powder, which is just a milled white powder that I'm applying all over my concealer. It doesn't alter my concealer at all um, or any color on my face, and it photographs really, really well. And then I'm following up with my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, or actually Press Powder, I believe. Oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm, I'm just applying that all over the face, making sure that my foundation is set. And now I'm going to be contouring. I'm using Max Blunt Blush up with, I believe this is a 168 brush from MAC. I can't remember the number. I think it's a 168. Just applying that right um, into my under my cheekbones just to contour those out, make my face look a little slimmer. I'm also doing that around the um, or around my face, and then also I'm going to be contouring my jawline. A lot of people don't contour their jawline. You should contour your jawline. Make sure that you get right up under there and just get that color and make sure you blend it out seamlessly. Uh oh, dance break. Tully was having too much fun doing this tutorial, so. As you guys can see, I am an idiot. <laughs> now I'm going to highlight a little more. I'm going to be using um, my, I believe this is my Lumi stick. I can't remember the name. All products obviously will be listed below. Just applying that over that concealer is going to help with highlighting under, between the brows, and down the bridge of the nose. I'm also going to be applying this, a new little technique is underneath my contour. This is going to make that a little sharper. You don't have to do this. It's just something that I've been trying and really liking. I'm also going to be contouring, actually highlighting my cupid's bow, and then also the chin. And I will be blending all of this out with my lovely beauty blender. It's probably the best thing that you can buy to blend out any of your foundations, any cream products, any liquid products onto your face. So just make sure that you blend this out all over the face and then I'm using the beauty blender and I'm just staying really really tight to that line I'm just gonna kind of blend I don't want to bring this too too low because I don't want it to pretty much um, bring out my um, base of my chin but just kind of tightening up that line making my contour pop out a little bit more so that part of my face will recede a little bit so if it does blend out a little bit too much use just a brush where you have some powder on there and I'll blend that out to make it less defined and less um, popping out. So I'm using my favorite blush. This is um, NYX Mocha's blush, which I absolutely love. It's just kind of a nice little pinky um, blush, but every day make sure that you blend that in seamlessly into your contour. Just lining my lips here. This is, I believe, NYX Natural um, Lip Liner They're from their Retractable Liner really like this it's just kind of kind of take out that darkness that I've got around my lips just make it a little more natural hence the color natural <laughs> and I'm just going to be lining my lips filling it in just a little bit not too much making sure that it is blended seamlessly and then I'm following up I believe this is Max Fresh Brew lipstick uh, probably one of my favorite nude lipsticks um, like I said, all products that I use will be listed below in the description bar. Don't hesitate to look. And then I just thought that this was a little too nudie, so I just used a lip gloss, a little pink lip gloss. Unfortunately, I do not know the name of this. I know it's from Tarte. I've had it for a while. have no name. 
So I'm just following up with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the way that you end all makeup tutorials. Just make sure you set all of that hard work that you've put onto your face to make sure that your makeup is going to last you throughout the day. So once it dries, you're going to let your hair down and you'll be good to go for the night out or the day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all very soon. You're listening to another downtown.